What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're going to go through how Trippy Red's Mr. Rage was made on FL Studio. This beat was produced by Loso, and the sample that they're using today is the Cymatics Odyssey Pack Drop Loop 7, and you can download that sample for free, as well as a bunch of other similar samples in the description below. Go check that out. Okay, back to Aiden from earlier today to explain this video. This is remake number four of the four-part series. If you just jumping in now, what are you doing? First remake, number one is Designer's Panda. I'll leave a link to it up there if you're interested in checking it out. But let's just jump into the song. So first off, we're using a Cymatics sample from their Odyssey Pack in synth loops, drop loops. It is the Future bass drop seven at 150 beats per minute. First thing you can see is that this sample is at 150 beats per minute and the actual tempo of this track is at 156. So we're gonna go into this time, stretch it until it matches perfectly with the um, eight bars. So it cleans up really nice. Just reset the pitch, so now it's gonna be in time. Then go back into the audio and go reverse, and then we're gonna chop out the second half of this sample because we're only using this first half. I couldn't believe how many remakes used both halves of the sample to only the second half. Crazy. There are two ways you can remake the song. First way is by using the sample that they used in the original song. Second way is by remaking the sample yourself. So I'm gonna show you both ways. First way of remaking the song is you just put it back in the playlist like this and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you can fix it up yourself if you want to. With remaking the sample, you can see I fixed it so it matches perfectly with the original song. But as you can see with the original sample, you'll have to chop it up if you wanna make that fit with the original song. I'll show you what I mean versus the original. You can hear that's a lot shorter. Versus the sample. But if you want to remake the sample yourself, this is how you do it. First off, let's jump into Silent, and we're making this super saw using two saw wave tables. The first one, we have seven voices. Second one, we have eight voices, and you can see we're detuning them to 2.8 and to 3.2. Then we're adding some overdrive distortion, a bit of phaser, and some chorus. Then you want to add a low pass filter and take up the drive. Go to your miscellaneous bring the source to velocity and make the second part volume AB. And that will enable velocity sensitive volume, which means when you go into the piano roll, the velocity of these notes in the piano roll will impact the volume. This is the exact chord progression. Then for effects, we're adding some EQ, just bringing down the mids and a little bit of flanges and some fruity compressor. Then we're adding in the bass sound, plays this melody. You can make this on silent as well. We're using a saw wave table and a square wave table. Then we're adding a low pass filter. Then go to your effects and add overdrive distortion. So both of them together. Then we have the lead preset. And that plays this melody. To make this one, we're using a square wave table with one voice, then adding a saw wave table with eight voices, detuned to 2.2. Then once again, adding a low pass filter, adding some resonance and warm drive, then some more distortion, phaser, chorus, and reverb. So everything so far. Then finally, we have this sort of deep house wub sound that I made on Serum. It's a really cool sound. Once again, you can download this in the FLP as well. So if you're looking for someone to thank for all these FLPs, it is Cymatics. Go say thanks to them in the comments below. Also go support the channel by downloading the Cymatics Odyssey kit for free in the description below. Then we're penciling in this pattern in the piano roll. So everything all together. Then you can go ahead and put that in the playlist and reverse it and it will sound like this. For the 808, we're using the overused 808, but we're going into the pre-computed effects and taking up the boost to 5%, and then we're playing this pattern.
Then we have this BWB hat. For the clap, we have what I'm pretty sure is the identical clap. We're just using the basic clap and we're just playing on the three and seven. Then finally, you know what this channel is about. We have the identical kick sample. We're using this final Pierre kick two. And you can see that it's oh, ready for this. It matches perfectly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took a lot of man hours to edit, film, record, you know, and make all these remakes, of course. So if you like them, please like and subscribe and hit that bell notification. Thanks very much to everyone for watching and I will see you guys next time.